Hey guys, a little reverse engineering here on my uh, power supply here. This Ice Age audio cable here that I put on the uh, strip, basically, the uh, AC strip. I put on the, I switched the cord on that from the original cord here, which is the original stock cord worth about five bucks that was on the power strip. And this power strip goes to all my entertainment equipment. And I switched it with the Ice Age Audio, as you guys see right here. And the reason for doing that is you just get better, more filtered current to your electronics. And I just put this other cord right here for cosmetic purposes. This is normally the cord that goes to your TV. So I upgraded the TV cord as well. But the, the reason I'm actually making this video is a lot of people think that just putting the Ice Age audio cord and then they put it to this AC power supply and then you plug it into your wall using this cheap cable here. The cheap cable, which is the weakest link in the equation, is going to be basically where you're going to get your quality from. You may get a little bit of shielding through the cable going to your TV by upgrading it, but Ultimately, unless it's plugged directly into the wall, it's going to be going through the cheap cable, which is right here first, and then into your more expensive cable. So in theory, I changed the cable out, as you see right here, and it took a little, quite a while to kind of reverse engineer everything, uh, take the power supply or the AC strip rather apart and everything and resolder and, you know, try to get everything looking, you know, professional like I did. And then, you know, I'll plug all my equipment into the, I got nine outlets here. So I have nine outlets that, are, that will be filtered using the Ice Age Audio Crino treated uh, power cable. Um, one other thing I wanted to go over with you guys, and this is more, I think, a lot of people are gonna think uh, snake oil or something like that is going to be the uh, jitterbug, but it actually works. The jitterbug is a noise suppression that you actually, if you look right here, it's a, it's a little USB stick, basically, but it's not a USB stick. There's an actual chip on there. And what it does is it takes any type of RF interference off your circuit board on the TV set and filters it, any RF interference. And actually, you can instantly hear a sound difference in your TV, especially if you have the A90J, A80J, A9G. Um, was it A9F, I believe, had the speakers with the... Uh, the same type of acoustic speakers, you instantly hear a sound difference because it just cleans out and filters all the noise off your circuit board. And then another thing is I've noticed that you do get a slight boost in picture quality as far as vibrancy, more punch, a little bit more blacker background with less noise, especially on uh, cable. And um, it's just, I don't know how it really does it, uh, it was made originally for sound, but then uh, I was talking to some of the engineers at AudioQuest and they were saying that they have recently tried it on some of their TVs and noticed a picture quality uh, upgrade and definitely a sound difference. So I tried it for myself with a full money back guarantee and it actually works, guys. It's a pretty amazing little piece there. But if you have any questions about that, let me know. And I agree with you guys. I know, I know people are going to say, oh, it sounds like snake oil, like, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But with the money back guarantee, it's only like 50 bucks. I decided to give it a try. And it actually, right away, huge sound difference and about maybe 5 to 6% uh, increase in picture quality, which is, of course, small. But, you know, for something for 50 bucks, it's pretty amazing. So I just wanted to touch base with you guys. I'm always doing some tweaks and stuff like that on this stuff. And, uh, Wanted to let you guys know what I've been up to, and I thought you guys would be interested in it. You guys have a good weekend, and I think tomorrow I'll be able to put up those A9G settings. I've been working very hard in getting those settings to my liking, and man, this thing really pops. And uh, you guys have a good one.